Hi, uh, this is Raymond from Tesla Offer. Uh, today we will talk about our frunk. Um, a lot of people recently asked, uh, hey, uh, we saw some uh, frunk that uh, you can use the same button to open and close. Uh, so we got a lot of inquiries about that. Um, so uh, so this today we will we'll try to talk more about it. Uh, actually, in our V2 frunk, uh, uh, our system is uh, capable of doing that, uh, uh, but we we didn't uh, really try to release it um, because of two reasons. One is the if you have the home link feature, it's a lot safer to do it that way. You use the home link uh, to close your front uh, because it doesn't interfere with the car system in any way. Um, if you want to use this button to do open and close. Uh, that's one thing you need to trick the car. You need to trick the car into thinking that it's halfly opened uh, when it's fully opened. Um, the reason why we didn't do it because it 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 involves uh, injecting a signal into the car status, the front status. So instead of um, uh, of listening only, read only the car signal, in this trick you need to inject a signal into the car. That means messing with some of the car signal. Uh, we talked to some customers and they don't feel comfortable doing it. Uh, that's why we didn't introduce this, this feature, but when we designed the V2 front, the hardware is ready. And today we'll show you how we did that. So now I open the front. So we can use the same button to close it. So this is uh, very easy to do. What you need to do is do a firmware upgrade and a wiring change, a slight wire change, and we'll teach you how. And, and, and we just want to show you that our V2 system can do it actually. So we'll try to do it again and show you how the front is opened. So now you close it. So basically this is this is our V2 system. So now we have demoed it and let me show you how to do it. Okay, so to do this, uh, you need a software upgrade. Uh, we'll put the link uh, below the video. So after you download the file, uh, you put it into your SD card. Uh, under 32 gigabyte uh, and FAT32 format. So after you put the file into here, uh, make sure it's the silver box. That's our V2 system. So you can just insert the micro SD card into the card slot here. So you can see the light is still blinking. Um, so when I fully insert it, it will start to blink uh, rapidly. So you need to wait, wait, wait until it goes solid. So after it goes solid, that means update complete so you can remove the car. So make sure it's turned solid. If you go, if the lights goes off, that means the update fail. Either the car is not compatible or the, the name of the file is wrong. Uh, the system cannot find the file. So this is the first step. And the second step, is in here remember this programming uh, wire we will not use it anymore so you can cut it here let me cut this cut the purple wire cut it and then strip it a little bit okay so what we need is a, is a post-it tab. You need to buy it from Amazon. It's very cheap. Uh, or use your own method. Actually, we just want to connect. This one is from us. It's not from factory. This pair. So you locate the white wire here. So we use the post-it tab to tap into the white wire. So screw it in. Make sure the threads align. Uh, properly and here in this end 
we'll put our purple wire here. So tighten it. Make sure it's not loose. Then it's that's it. That's how you do the whole update. So let's try to test it. So now you don't have this for programming. You need to use the reset button here. So to set the speed, hold the button. So I'm setting it to speed 5. So it's like, like how you do it with this button, but now we do it from, from there. So to initialize, you single click, and for speed setting, you hold it. So now let's try to test it again, uh, like I said, before we start putting back everything. So lock it, and use the button to open it. Make sure it is, is okay. Then we can put the things back together. And, and you can initialize it again by clicking it once. So now it's initialized, so you can put it, everything back together and then this is how you do it. So after you put everything back together, remember to test it again before you close the, the front. So that's how you do it. So you can try it yourself um, and we'll put the, put the software in below the video. Thank you.